So I've opened up FreeCAD 0.22, soon to be version one. And we're going to look at SolidWorks style extrudes where the profiles are all encapsulated in one sketch on one plane. For that, I'm going to create a new document. I'm in the part design. We'll create a new body and a new sketch along the XY plane and hit OK. I'm not bothering about locking down the geometry. This is just to demonstrate the feature itself. So we'll add a couple of circles. So I want to create this as a extrude. So this will extrude up as a tube with a void inside. But I also want a smaller tube here. Now in previous versions, if I try to extrude this in the part design, it will fail. In the part, it'll be fine. Now let's add a slot in here, something like that. Right click to cancel and we'll create these to Winston with each other. And I'm going to delete the equals and delete that. So what I have now is something that I can manipulate and bring in. So this is the shape that I want to create, something like this. Once I have my geometry, it's basically like a master sketch. If I close that, I want this as a solid. This is extruded up. So we've got one extrude and two extrudes here and a third one here. So these are all going to be extruded. Now, if I try to extrude the sketch with the extrude, it's just going to bring in something like this, which I don't want. In 0.22 in version one, what we can do is extrude using one sketch and selecting the edges as the profile. So I'm going to hold down the control key after I select my first edge here, use the control key as I move around selecting those edges. And I'm going to extrude this. And as you can see, I've extruded just those edges into a solid. It's a closed wire because I selected all those edges that are closed. And for the sakes, we'll just do the reverse. And we'll go something like three millimeters and hit OK. So we have our pad. We take the sketch within and press the space bar. And now I can take these by control selecting them these two here and extruding those. And I can set them to what height I want. So I've extruded those both together. If I wanted to extrude them individually, I can take these two and extrude that up, say 10 mil. And then I would hide this pad or because I know the sketch is on top of this surface, I can select that sketch within the pad or within this pad. They're still the same sketches. I press the space bar. As you can see, both of them are shown and hidden. So I can select this one now, control select that and create the pad. And I'm going to go about five mil on that one. And we've got the finished object. You notice I extruded in reverse with this one. I could have extruded forward if I wanted to. I would just have hidden the pad and then made the sketch visible and started extruding up. We'll just quickly show you that now. So let's get rid of the pad. Don't get rid of the sketch within because they're all the same. So that pad extruded downwards. Let's reverse that. Let's reverse is true and set that to false. So that's extruded upwards now. So what I have to do, this will become hidden after the first pad operation. Come in here, press the space bar on the pad, show the sketch, and then I can take these, control select them, and do what I want. I select both of them for the time being. And extrude that by 10 mil. So you can see we can do it in different ways. But we have to hide that pad first. And let's say I'm going to take these two and extrude them up. And OK that. By the last operation, the tip, the pad, bring back the sketch. And we'll extrude both of these up.
This time, let's bring this down a bit by seven millimeters. So this works with both the Strudes, Revolves. The operations where you can take a profile and now you can use that single sketch and a Strude parts of it as you would do in the leading CAD packages out there. Hope you found that useful and I hope to see you in the new video. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.